Hey, welcome back everybody. This is Royce from Pedal Metal and welcome to my channel. Tonight's video will be featuring some Volkswagen Mark IV Golf GTIs. And we have five different examples here. Four of which are from Jada Toys and one is from Hot Wheels. Uh, the Jadas are listed as 164 scale, which is, they look huge compared to what we're used to seeing 164 scale is a, uh, basically about 30% smaller than these. Uh, the Hot Wheels one, I'm not sure what they have the scale listed at on this. It doesn't say. Uh, to me, I would say it's 143rd scale. It doesn't say anywhere on it. But that's tonight's episode. We're going to crack each one open and take a close look at them. We will do that right now. So stick around. All right, I'm back. Uh, these were difficult to film. I uh, apologize if there was glares earlier. Uh, they these kind of bubble packages do not like to be photographed very well. I don't think I always, these Jada toys. There was, there, I think I'm pretty sure I have all four of them. Um, from what I understand, you have the two here uh, in the V Dub series, and then there's two in the Dub Custom Dub City Custom series. All right, first we'll, we'll take a look at the the four Mark IV examples down below here from Jada Toys. Uh, these two the Dub City Customs are from 2006 and these the last two are from this one and this one are from 2007. So we will take a look at them. We're going to crack each one open. The Hot Wheels one I had to look was from 2000, 2004, the Hot Import Nights. Uh, I would say that's like a 143rd scale. I can't, doesn't say anywhere on it what the scale is. I had picked this up at an Ollie's which is like a bargain place near my house back, I don't know, maybe 10 years ago, it was $2.99. These go for a good bit of money now on eBay. Uh, some of these, they can range from $15 on up, and uh, it doesn't really matter to me. I bought all these except for the police one. I had to pick up at a toy show one time, and I think I paid $8 for that one, eight or nine, but the rest I they all came from the store here it says Kmart three dollars and 49 cents so that gives you an idea what the prices were then usually I write down what I paid for something but this doesn't have a sticker under it or anything we'll go ahead here and we'll cut them open Last but not least, we'll open up the Hot Wheels one. If I remember correctly, I bought this at Target. Uh, here's the back of the pack, by the way, for the Hot Wheels one that you could, they did have quite a few, if I remember correctly. I'll let you guys, you can pause on the screen. If I remember, I do remember the Dodge Neon one. I'm not sure if I've seen too many other ones, the Toyota Corolla GTS. I'm not sure if I've seen, I think the Mitsubishi, I'd seen that one one time. The gentleman who owns the rights to the who owns the right to that hot import nights. I believe he only lives about 40 minutes away from me here, from what I understand. And I do want to uh, check out his toy collection sometime. I'd like to get get a hold of him. He has a huge toy collection. So here we see the red Volkswagen GTI. Uh, this is a Mark IV. Please don't ever say MK4. That is not correct and super annoying to hear when people say it. I still hear that all the time at Volkswagen shows. People say, I have an MK3 or an MK2. No, MK is an abbreviation for Mark. It's not MK. MK, people. MK. Mm -hmm. So this one was part of the Dub City series. And I think that's what it was, right? Yeah, Dub City Custom Series. As far as I can tell, I have all four color combinations of them. You guys have to post down below if I'm wrong on that or not. But as far as I can tell, I own all four. And we'll move on to the next one out of that series. The other one from that Dub City Series is the police car. I think that one's probably the hardest one to get. 
Um, like I said, I think I paid eight or nine dollars for that at a toy show five or six years ago. So it's not an easy one to find by any means. And it's fairly attractive too. Uh, the bad thing is you have to, I shouldn't say a bad thing, but you know, these are obviously supposed to be the 20 plus inch rim series uh, type of vehicles, the dubs. And so you kind of got to be into that fast and furious look. Um, I just like them because it's hard to find uh, Volkswagen toys in general. This has the R32 front bumper, which looks pretty cool. Uh, well, they all do. Ha they all have that. I just, I'm not really into chrome rims. I'm not really into big uh, 20 plus rims, but you take what you can get sometimes. Next up, we have the yellow and black one, which looks really, really racy. Looks like an SCCA racer. Looks pretty cool. That is part of the V Dub series. Just it's essentially it's the same mold as what we saw the previous two cars. It's a little more sedated though with the black rims. I think this one might be my favorite out of all four of them. The red would probably be my favorite if it didn't have the chrome rims. And I'm not sure about the white interior. It looks kind of goofy. But that one there looks slick, I think. Moving on to the last one, which is black and white with a purple and blue stripe kind of uh, differentiating, or I should say, bordering the two colors. And I think that one actually has different rims than the other cars. It looks like they're a little different. Yeah, I think they're a little more... Uh, it's the same as the police car. It's the same rims. But if, I'm trying to see what is it... Uh, seven spoke wheels the red one is six spoke and the yellow one is six spoke wheels this reminds me of a also of a racer looks pretty good all right next up we'll take a look at the uh, hot import nights hot wheels which doesn't say just says volkswagen golf on the bottom but it is definitely a mark for golf very gaudy as well it has lots of speakers in the back <laughs> it is all over kind of like a nardo gray color with red seats racing bucket seats has speakers in the back which is pretty obvious they're huge does have a carbon fiber hood which looks the decal actually looks pretty decent on it Has very dark grayish, almost black rims. Uh, plastic base. Does have. I was gonna say it's brake detail, but it do, it does have brake rotors in there, but they're really nothing to write home about. There's the interior. You can kind of see it there. I'm trying to look at the monitor here as I'm spinning this around for you guys. There you can see the carbon fiber hood. Actually doesn't look that bad. This also kind of has an R32 style front bumper. It's got the nicer headlamps. I can do without the stripes on both sides. I don't know. It reminds me of something someone would do on a Corvette. I don't know. It doesn't do anything for me personally. I'm not sure what this little decal here is on the back side windows. It does say Alpine stereo on the back there. Not too bad though. Uh, I would say it's definitely probably 143rd, maybe a little bit larger. Uh, maybe 138th scale perhaps. It, it's fairly large. You can see there with my hands how large it is. We'll put it next to... The Jadas are they're claiming that uh, there's some paint issues on the hood of that black one. Wow, we look at that. The Jadas are supposed to be 164 scale, but you can see the size difference there from the black to the gray. The pretty pretty good difference in size. Uh, I did bring in. I do have an example to show the Mark V. Um, let me back out a little bit here. This is the 
the Mark V one in black, and I do have one. I didn't realize I do own one already out of the pack, and I found this one in the pack. That's, that's why I need to go through stuff here. Uh, it's, it's a little out of control, but I was thinking this was a Mark IV one, but it's definitely, uh, it says right here, it says Mark V, but I think they did a pretty good job in not having it so gaudy on this one. So here's one out of the pack. This is a Mark V, but since it's only Mark V, I own in that, and I'm not going to do a separate video on it. I'll just show it now. But we'll park that next to the Mark IV, also in black. But I think it's pretty cool. I've owned that also since new when I found them at, at Target originally years ago. Let's see what's the date on them. 2000. It's also 2007 for the Dub City, the Dub City one. But I always thought they did a, a pretty decent job on this one. Also has rubber tires, but I like the red outlined rims. Very tasteful five spoke uh, wheels on it. I think that one looks pretty good. Doors don't open on it, but the license plate looks good too on it. Oh, I made my own license plate. I'm sorry. I'm looking at that. It's a Pennsylvania license plate. <laughs> Apparently, I got bored at some point in time and put my own license plate because the other one doesn't have that on it. But that looks like the only thing I did to it to uh, soup it, you know, soup it up a little bit was add the license plate. So anyway, that's the Mark V. So there you go. There's all five of the Mark IVs that I have in my collection now. It's nice to see them out of the bubble packs. It'll be easier to store. Uh, those other, the huge bubble packs are just really difficult to store, I think. And you can't really enjoy, it's hard to enjoy these cars when they're in those stupid bubble packs, to be honest with you. Yes, they're going to retain their value a little bit, but even the loose cars on eBay I looked, people want just as much for them the loose ones as they do in the ones in the bubble pack so i don't think it's really gonna hurt the value at all and it's, 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 i think you can enjoy them a little more when they're out of this heavy duty packaging so there you go hope you guys like that video on mark four volkswagen golf gtis and if you like this type of video give me a thumbs up be sure to share like subscribe if you're not a subscriber be sure to hit the bell for notifications uh it's free to become a subscriber i appreciate it hopefully i'll hit 9,000 here at some point and uh working my way towards 10 that would be pretty cool so until next time i'll see you guys later is that voice is really going my voice is starting to go out all right see you guys soon thanks for watching have a good night now.